Hey guys and welcome to Petrol Pet and welcome to a video with a difference. Now you may well be a fan of my dog walk videos, I know many of you are and what I try and do on those videos is to go for a walk with the dogs, choose a subject to talk about and give you an insight into me as a person, the person behind the facade that is Petrol Pet and that's what I want to try and do with this video. Now you may or may not know but this week Mrs Petrol Pet and I celebrate our 20th wedding anniversary on Wednesday. I can't actually believe that it's been 20 years. It's flown by in a heartbeat. But I thought you might like to meet one of my longest and oldest standing buddies, the guy who was my best man. <laughs> this might be a really bad idea, but I thought it would be interesting to chat through where our love of cars came from. He's also one of the first people to ever call me Ped. It's kind of where the name Ped came from. Although my family's called me Pedro since I was very small. When we met at university, that got shortened down to Ped very, very quickly. But also, he needs our help. Um, so there's a subject we want to talk about, the business he runs. And I really want to see if we can support him in any way, shape or form. So a video with a few aims, make sure you stay tuned until the end, because we're about to meet my best mate. Now, depending on when you first met him, you will know him either as Jonathan or Taff. But I have a Zoom call about to start in five minutes. That's what all the beeps and bongs are from in my laptop. So we will Zoom over to North Wales and meet my best man. Uh, now then, everybody, uh, welcome to the channel, my best friend of friends. Now, Jonathan now, but it was when we first met Taff, because I was yep. really imaginative, wasn't I? For, from, from the start, mate, you've just yeah. been, you know, the epitome of originality. Yeah. Where, oh, where do you Wales. come from? Oh, you're oh, from yeah. Wales, I call you Taffin. Yeah, yeah Mogadishu, mate. That's where I yeah. come from. Uh, no, <laughs> Wales, Beefus Darkest. Yeah. And then I made some comment as soon as I found out you were a farmer saying I'd never met a poor farmer as well. I kind of think <laughs> yeah, yeah. you yeah. all in the yeah. same. It's kind of amazing, really, from such an auspicious start that we haven't spoken to each other again, isn't it? I know. And that was, uh, when would that be? September 1990. That's 30 years ago, my friend. Oh, that is scary. And I haven't aged a bit. No, I know. <laughs> but I was saying you've got, uh, there is honestly, you know, uh, there's a, a possible career for you in kind of Santa Claus um, looky likeies. Right, okay, thanks, mate. Uh, That's right. Ho, ho, ho to you too. <laughs> Full of Christmas cheer. Yeah. You know, may the Yuletide log slip from your fire and burn your house down. I know, I know. So um, I was saying to the guys, we, uh, 20 years ago, uh, yeah. we got married. Well, not me and you got married. <laughs> me and didn't, Tracy no. got married, and you were my best yeah. man. And um, you, uh, <laughs> you pranked me because at the time I had a Toyota Celica. And I remember in the speech, uh, you happened to get hold of the car keys and, um, <laughs> <laughs> and told everybody that you'd basically done my car over. <laughs> yeah. It was, yeah. Well, it was, it was probably for the best, you know, um, you've moved on since then. I have, I have. Although if we go back to our first cars, my friends, your yeah. gold Austin Metro. My golden chariot. Yes, that your golden chariot, the Hetero yeah. Retro Metro with random radio and random turbo. Yeah, yeah. If you had four lads in it and they all threw themselves forward, you could actually feel it go faster. It went it faster. I mean, I can't talk because I had a Mark 1 Fiesta, but we had good times in that car. Didn't good I help step. you fit the radio as well? Didn't yes. you? Did, yeah. Uh, that's yes. the, probably the only bit of, of car electronics, uh, electrical work I've ever done. I fit a radio uh, yeah. in your car. And, uh, and amazingly, it worked. <laughs> and, it con and it continued to work. Until uh, and, until we buried it, I think, in really? the, on the farm. And then things got better because I remember I then I, I upgraded into a Toyota Celica. Yes. And then I was because yes. you then went and got a really cool job with that consultancy company, Sequoia. Mm. And you went and bought yourself a Mark One MR2. I know, I know. It was a beautiful. And I hated you. Machine. I hated you. <sighs> I know. Red, I always... Gold wheels. Yeah. Mate, what a car. I know. I know, but that car actually was slightly cursed because um, eventually I sold it and it broke down. The whole electrics just went kaput the day I sold it as the guy was turning up. 
So uh, oh. it didn't want to be sold. But let's not forget your little white fiesta. Yes. Do do the do your do, do your sort of uh, peddlers know about your little white fiesta with the back, um, back wheels and the little button little button steering I did have wheel? A very small ten inch. Uh, Momo steering wheel in it. Yes, <laughs> it was a little bit ridiculous. It was quite small. Um, um, and then I bought the wheel. Were you there when I bought the wheels? I bought what I thought was was uh, <laughs> was Super Sport 1300 Super Sport wheels, and they weren't. They were RS 2000 wheels, and they didn't actually. They weren't actually meant to fit the car, but I just put them on anyway. And they didn't have long enough thread on the car. Oh, it was just that wasn't good. It wasn't good. It wasn't good. But you did, I don't know if you've still got the photos of it, but you came up to North Wales and we yes. went, uh, I was working at um, the ski slope, the artificial ski slope in oh. Chandidno. And then you came up and you did like a whole photo shoot. Like the, 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 the sunset was coming over and the, the fiesta was there. I was and Island that, was in the background. <laughs> Do you remember what happened when we went skiing? When we, we were like, <laughs> so we're like, Ted, can you ski? And I'm like, yeah, of course I can ski. <laughs> and we, we, we got up onto the artificial slope and, and instead of going in the middle, we went right to the top. And then I didn't actually yeah. know how to ski. And I just pretty much went straight down all the way and just ended up in a massive ball of skis in the bottom. It was, it was Bambi on ice, wasn't it? It was Bambi on ice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it wasn't good. No, it wasn't good. Classic. Have you got a drink there, mate? Well, now here's the thing. So um, now, what's behind you, my friend? So this is the this is the apart from we could gas about our, our backgrounds and stuff. The reason that I wanted to do this call is what's behind you. So some background: when you were at that consultancy firm, I remember you came home one day, and you said, "I'm going to start my own business." I was like, "Really?" Because yeah, I'm going to start a microbrewery. And I remember saying, "Taff, you don't even make homebrew." <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. And that was how many years ago? Oh, God, that must have been, um, well, I started the brewery about 15, 16 years ago. But I think at wow. that point, it was probably, must have been at least four or five years before that. Well, probably 10 years before that when I first started to think about it. And yeah. it was just a case of uh, reading a few books, doing a few experiments, having a go in the kitchen and then you know, setting up a brewery. And then, and, and, then, and then you became the owner of an award-winning brewery. That is true. That is true. So, uh, and, and an award-winning brewery that sells beer online. Because... Oh, yes. <laughs> oh yeah, baby! <laughs> Not that! This arrived. I only ordered this, like, uh, Wednesday, I think. Wednesday? Yeah. Like, a couple yeah. of days. So, um, now, the reason for this is... Uh, can I, so, we're going to have a beer. Can I just check what the time is, though? Because you're not allowed to drink after six o'clock, are you? Ah, no. You're fine. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes. You're fine. I just can't sell it to anybody, but I can drink my own stuff. I can get you. So it's all good. Oh, okay. But we so, will talk about the Welsh prohibition. So, so the reason for this call, I, ta I, I, now I, I still call you Taff. I know nowadays you're more mature and you're called Jonathan, but it's just embedded deep down inside, my friend. I'm sorry. Yeah, he, Jonathan. Uh, Jonathan. <laughs> yes. Yes. So you did a post Peter. on your a live stream on your Facebook last week about the current COVID restrictions that came into force in Wales on Friday. Yeah. Uh, and it, yep. it, it really, really wound me up. Not as much as it wound you up, I could tell by it. So um, clearly you guys have had a pretty tough time. And I guess we need to preface all of this with, uh, I appreciate we need to take a lot of measures around uh, COVID and, and all that kind of stuff. But you, as a business, you are, yeah. you not only have outlets yourself like Johnny Doe's and stuff, but you service beer sales in kegs to pubs and you sell beer in yeah. online in bottles. So if you're suddenly not yeah. allowed to sell beer yeah. after six o'clock in the evening in Wales, that's not good, right? That, no, it, I, to wrap some numbers round to it, round it, uh, basically as of Friday, just gone yesterday, uh, yeah. We lost 85% of our sales, just like that. So 85%? 85% um, of our sales just stopped. Now, the whole idea is they're going to be reviewing this in 17 days, but we know already that that's not going to happen. So it's going to go into 2021, and it could even be extended beyond then. We don't know. It's open-ended. So, yeah, from a business point of view, it's pretty gutting. 
and, and that 17 days is the run up to Christmas <laughs> when you're going to be selling lots of beer, right? Yeah. Should we have so, a beer and talk about this? I'm going to, let's, let's do, let's beer. do. Right. Go. So, <laughs> now, the, the, but if you haven't already, so uh, one of the things that we're going to be doing, we're going to talk about the, the beers and stuff, but the guys can get involved here, can't they? Yeah, absolutely. Because, because, yeah. because uh, Jonathan ships the beer from Snowden Craft Brewery and you get, oh, what have I just pulled? Oh, I've pulled out an IPA. I like a bit of IPA. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, you, yeah. So we're gonna do um, a, a petrol ped discount code. Yeah. To help you stimulate some sales of beers. Fantastic. Fantastic. Well, it was your idea, not mine. No, but thanks. I, <laughs> I do. The thing is, right, I do all of these kind of uh, deals and stuff, but and 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 it's great to, to offer my followers um, some discounts and on products, but. For me, this one, everyone's going to need to go and buy some beer um, on the run up to Christmas and to support a, a, a business that was incentivized by the Welsh government and everyone to, to, to kind of get involved and now spate 85% of your sales. You can order one of these um, cases of beer. I bought, I got the mixed case. Yes. So that's why I wasn't sure. But so you get a bit, I'm going to, so I'm going to, I'm going to have an IPA. Yeah. Uh, what else have I got in here? I've got a lovely uh, glass. Oh, I just need to get that bit of <laughs> bit of cardboard out the oh, yeah. bottom. Bit of card at the bottom. <laughs> yeah, otherwise yeah. that's gonna make it a bit funny. Let me try and... I've also got a little bit of a surprise for your guys as well. Oh, okay. So, Come on, then. Um, so yeah, we've got the twenty percent discount for people who want to buy between now and let's say sort of the twentieth of December. Yeah, okay. it gives us time and to how, how, it how how do they get that they just uh, discount code PED? 20 ped, ped 20 you know okay, it's good. easy ped 20 yes. um, and then we'll carry on oh is that a cow in the background or a some uh, kind of beer making machine it's one of the compressors <laughs> now so, so i've gone for i've gone for an ipa yeah but in the, in the box in the box in the mixed box um yeah you've got a, a porter that's a bit of a bad boy that one is that a bit of a bad boy yeah. yeah. Uh, I've got the IPA. I've got um, a nice bitter. Yeah. And uh, 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 uh. Summit. That's your lager, I think, isn't it? No, the Summit is um, the. Uh, it's basically a stronger IPA. Oh. I hello. think you ordered. You ordered a mixed case of ales. I think. Oh, I did. That's so, right. Yeah. That'll be why I got ales yeah. then. So as well as that, yeah. So as well as that, we also do the lager, but also for your um for your youtube uh, gang my gang my your gang we've also got something really a little bit special for them and that is a beer that has yet to be released Ooh. so uh, this is what i'm having so it hasn't even got a label yet Ooh. okay it's that new we haven't actually got a name for it yet Ooh. so if anyone wants to go and bring in a name feel free yeah, we could do a comment yeah let's let's yeah suggestions in the comments below yeah. name the beer name the beer so um, if they order a mixed case or whatever, they'll basically get two of everything and two of the unnamed beer. The unnamed beer. Um, and, uh, and they can let us know what they think. So are you going to pour or shall I? I uh, should we pour together? Let's. Yeah, let's. So the, the IPA then, what's, what should I expect from this? I do like an IPA. Uh, it's just quite nice, crisp, refreshing, uh, 4%. So uh, you can have Session a couple beer. of them. You know, you can have a couple of them without it being Don't drink and different. drive, people. It's bad. Do not drink and drive. No, we never, never, never want to drink and drive. I was always a bit reluctant, really, about doing something with you because of the whole drink drive thing. So, you know... Johnny Walker sponsored McLaren. Good point. Good point. <laughs> yeah. You can have it. You can drink. You can drink sensibly uh, after you've been driving. Indeed. Mate, that's cheers. lovely. Yeah, cheers. Yeah, um, cheers. Uh, uh, what would that be in Welsh? Yachida. Yachida. There we go, Yachida. my friend. So, so this, so we've got um, the the. I have to say that they. So you ship anywhere in the UK with your beers. So yeah. I know I've got lots of foreign uh, followers as well. So apologies for that, people. But yeah. so this is a UK a UK peddler's offer. This this, this is a UK one. We would love to try and get it a bit further afield, but we just need a bit more time. Yeah, we just need a bit yeah. more time. So not yeah. just yet, I'm afraid. So, so that sucks. So, what's your contingency plan? Just sell as much bottled beer as you can, or yeah. Well, and and have you? 
did you know it was coming? Because uh, what's your beer cycle in terms of from from putting the stuff in the you know the, all the raw ingredients to get in a keg? What's yeah, the lead time? Okay. Uh, from from first brew from the from the brew day through to finished product, it's about two weeks. So uh, yeah, that was a bit of a sting in the tail because in fairness to the Welsh government, um, well. <laughs> No, when the initial lockdown came in in March, uh, we had no warning whatsoever, really. Yeah, and that, that, yeah. Was, that was Westminster government. That was fine. It was, it was a reactive step to what was required. But then, so that hit brewers quite hard because they'd already been scheduling pretty much for Easter, yeah, which is big sales. So they had you didn't have to pour around. it down the drain, right? Well, we were lucky. We didn't have to pour any down the drain, but there's so many brewers in the UK that did. It's incredible, incredible. Um, for us, uh, we were just now starting to build stock up for Easter. Um, and yeah, and then we were given a week's notice. Now, a week's notice is not long enough. So yeah, we've got a, a lot of beer on hand. Now, we can lock it all down. So we've got lots of bats, as you can see. Yeah. They're all full. They're all full uh, with what would have been um, a seasonal uh, sort of uplift. Um, but yeah, 80% of that has gone now. Uh, in terms of sales so luckily we're having to sort of redirect that towards bottles and we do bottle on site so yeah. at least we've got that um, as a backup hence the cunning plan mm. peddlers buy lots of beer <laughs> um, so the, the bit I don't get and this is yeah. this is the bit that kind of because obviously you know Tracy Mrs Petrol Pet to everyone she's in hospitality as well and lots of our friends are um, the bit I really don't understand is some of the most COVID secure places you can go are yeah. restaurants and pubs. Yeah. You walk in the door, you get track and trace on the door, you sit down at a socially distanced table, you get table service, food. I don't understand. No. I, I don't get it. And do you know what really gets me? Uh, is that you can do all that. You can still do that in Wales up to six o'clock and you can have a glass of milk, a cup of tea, okay? But as soon as you have that sip of beer, there's an assumption that you're going to start hugging everybody, snogging everybody, and just losing all inhibitions. And that's simply not the case. Because uh, the, um, the, bit, the bit that people won't probably get is because um, you, you uh, take this the, the best way, my friend. Ah. You, you don't sound hugely Welsh, no. but you're one of the most Welsh people I know. Well, probably we haven't shared a Cymraeg and dipping back on Dim and Llawer, but my mum comes from Cambridge. So, um, <laughs> you know, and I also did spend 15 years hanging around with you. Well, yeah, um, yeah. But when you order something like this, it's just nice and different. And, and, you know, you can sit down and enjoy a beer because it's a bit special, not just because it's a kind of homogenised off the shelf ale or lager. So, so let's hope that um i yeah. have lots of lovely generous peddlers who instead of you know dropping some money at a supermarket order online it literally literally arrives yeah. within a couple of days um 20 off up until christmas and then an ongoing 10 percent. it's like a it's like a petrol ped discount club on beer anyway guys uh, yeah, i'm gonna draw this one to a close if you've enjoyed it then you know what's coming give me a thumbs up comments below are always welcome and if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to Petroped for plenty more content to come. I will put all the links to uh, Jonathan's brewery below. Remember, Petroped 20 up until Christmas and Petroped 10 after that. Absolutely amazing, mate. I hope, I hope you sell some beer and I'm going to enjoy this one because there's a Grand Prix qualifying on now. <laughs> you gone, gone through some more beer, mate, because I think you're going to need it. You're going to get lots of orders. I'm going to watch Wales v Italy, mate. So oh. It's a game we might actually win. Love you, man. Take care, mate. Thank you. Love to Laura. Thank you.